tough and sad because you 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 you, you know you have a home to you know to you have a home and you end up with nothing you know end up with just a measly tent and, and vagabonds you've been bombarded to different places and everywhere you go is just and of course at that time we you know our English was very I mean we we haven't spoken I mean didn't speak a word of English so it was tough to communicate and it was tough also for me to grow up um, at that time uh, racism was a big thing um, you know, kid calling you different names, and I didn't even know, uh, you know, what they were saying. Uh, but it, you know, but you can tell from the kid's face that they were making fun of you. So it was very tough, no doubt. You know, it was very tough and sad when you know when you have to leave um, what you know up to that point behind, you know, mm -hmm. and start over again. <laughs> It's not so tough. We enjoy the community up here. Um, it was just tough on the business uh, uh, end of it as to try to build up the house of Kasamani, you know, for people to understand who we are as a person and, and what our products are. Um, and, you know, it's been now, what, going on three years now? Almost four years. Almost four years. So, so I mean, we're very comfortable up here, and that's why we love the community. Um, longing and it, we, we love being up here and our children love their school. This is this is your yeah, my, your, my your, dad. your dad mm -hmm. and your mom. Mm -hmm. My my uh, kids are very um, close to uh, my parents. Oh, okay. And um, every night they sit down and I, uh, you know, he play, play sing yeah, song. They, yeah. Is he still around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, has he been out here to visit you? Yeah, so eight years ago they stayed on with us one year. Eight years ago mm -hmm. in Carlisle? No, the Camp Hill. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, so long ago. You know, four of our children was born in Japan. So um, when we uh, we came back, um, we came back uh, because none of our children speak uh, English. So they're all Japanese spoken. So um, I was very very worried, and Naomi as well. Uh, you know, uh, because because of that. But uh, when we decided to move back here, I mean, you know, kids are like sponge, you know, like the first couple of six, seven months, uh, they start picking up so quick. And now I don't really, you know, now, of course, you know, there's no worry because they're doing very well in school. But they'll tell you, you know, they'll tell us you, you know, how... So there's no plan in uh, moving back to Japan? No, well, you know, we, this is our, this, yeah. is, this is our first home. <laughs> you know, this is actually our first, uh, uh, even though I'm f originally, I'm from Camp Hill, and that's where my, my, uh, my parents still reside, but um, this is our home for the fam, because uh, Carlisle, I mean, I, I, we just love up, uh, up here in Carlisle, we have business up here, of course, but we felt the sense of, you know, belonging and sense of community up here in Carlisle, um, so yes, uh, but of course, my wife, uh, you know, she came from Okinawa. That's also our second home. So we're just trying to build so that way we can have the best of two worlds. I came as an as a, uh, immigrant, so, but I've been here for so long, and of course, I'm an American citizen, um, you know, and all my parents and my, my sibling, everybody's, a, my cousin, everybody's an American citizen. Um, my children, I'm not in, uh, with the exception of our youngest, uh, Leonardo, Leon, um, mm -hmm. He was born here, so he's, uh, you know, naturally he's American by birth, but all my four um, oldest kids, uh, they have dual citizenship. And they have both uh, Japanese uh, citizenship uh, and then they have American citizenship. Oh yeah, this Heck is yeah! <laughs> We, we, we believe that Carlisle is the place for international business, we, both with the, the War College and all the international students they bring in, and Dickinson with their exchange program. 
Yeah. I, I think that we have a pretty worldly population here, and we've seen success like with, with Javits. For a small central Pennsylvania town, right. That you know, for Central Pennsylvanians, and, and I, I'm one of them, the very Pennsylvania Dutch taste buds. You know, um, we have a very eclectic restaurant mm -hmm. in this town, mm -hmm. and it is just because of what Vanessa said. I think, you know, I've been here for four years. I have seen the uh, international food industry evolve. It's in the way that it's become um, more present. My family and I, um, in 1993, uh, started the facility where we're at right now, uh, Travis's Bountiful Acres, uh, which is a small three and a half acre farm. It does open up people's eyes. Um, people will eat there and they may have, try a feta or try a chev and say, oh, this is really good, I like that. Happen to walk past our uh, stand at the farmer's market, see that we have chev or feta. Um, and then start buying from us. And I've heard a few people, um, especially if they're in the Carlisle area, they enjoy the uh, different cultures uh, that we have in Carlisle. I think Carlisle is a very diverse area. Having restaurants that are different or, or markets or things like that that promote the different cultures helps uh, make people feel at home or at least feel comfortable that they can call this home. Say you and me take it down to the barn. Pull it inside and climb to the top. Spread out a blanket in a favorite spot. Pitch that pitchfork out the way. 